Bay Area neighborhood has a major problem. A stranger stalking the streets, stealing their mail and their identities. Melanie Michael is joining us live tonight at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Uh, this guy's really uh, making a bold action here. He certainly is, Keith. Good evening to you. He is bold. He steals the mail, applies for credit cards, then waits for the credit card to come in, then comes back to steal that too. It's a daily delivery that the bad guys want, and they're getting it. Just ask Anthony Marhone. It's uh, it's not as safe as you think it is, and uh, you know when you lay your head down at night, you want to know that it's safe. This Hillsborough firefighter was shocked when a credit card arrived in the mail, one that he and his wife never applied for. Then Anthony found out the same thing happened to his neighbors, and they all say the same thing. They saw the same guy creeping around their mailboxes in loots. Just multiple people in this whole neighborhood. So it's not just one person. It's I think they probably threw a blanket out and see who can, who they can get and what info, and, and they're just going from there. He's, you know, gutsy. He's brazen. Families are fed up after being ripped off over and over again. So when the mailman enters our neighborhood now, we have neighbors going, mailman's here, and we are out there checking. As soon as he goes by, we're at our mailboxes. Turns out the bad guy has a system with the same M.O. every time. He steals the mail, then uses that information to apply for credit cards through PNC Bank. And because he's bold, he then comes back to steal the card when it comes in. The sheriff's office is on the case with their fraud unit. Identity theft is definitely a big one on their radar. They want to make sure that those who are out there looking to steal someone's information are caught and prosecuted. So, Keith, tonight those neighbors have provided videos and pictures to the fraud unit, hoping that those detectives can get this guy off the streets and very soon. We are live tonight at the Sheriff's Office. I'm Melanie Michael, News Channel 8.